In my opinion, the best kind of marketing is honest marketing. The best kind of networking is authentic networking because these actions will align with your higher self and allow your conscience to celebrate the work that you do and how you are being in the world. So how do we do honest marketing and authentic networking? We simply be transparent about whom we can best help at this time, whom we love helping and can best help at this time. So one of the mistakes I believe that a lot of businesses make, especially service providers and experts, is they, t they try to look bigger than they actually are right now. They, they make their business seem so much more further along than it actually is. Maybe they'll use the term, you know, we, our team does this, you know, when it's really just them, okay? Or they uh, try to come across um, through their, 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 their pictures or through, through how they come across as, as a bigger company or as a, a much more experienced expert than they actually are right now. And I think that, um, in, my, in my opinion, it's a mistake. It's a mistake because that will eventually catch up with you and bite you. Uh, and, and all along the way, as you're making the mistake, you'll feel like a fraud. Um, and, and I think the reason why people do this is because there's that advice out there to fake it until you make it. And I don't agree with that advice when it comes to marketing and, and networking. I think, I think what is important is for you to get clear about what kind of client you can best help at this time just through your experience. I mean, the, the people you're already helping have helped recently. Who are they? Okay. What kind, of, um, what kind of person are they? And what stage are they in the problem that you help them with? Because in the, in the client's transformation journey, from having that problem or set of problems to being transformed by your services, there are many stages. Okay. And maybe right now you really help people really well in this particular stage. It takes experience, right? So you've got to get out there and do more of the work, help more people. At the beginning, it may be helping people for free so that you can get that experience, right? And understand, oh, I really help people well when they're in this particular stage, right? Uh, and I don't help people as well when they're, st when they're in this stage or when they're further along, they really don't need my help anymore and they really should go work with other people. But I help people really well in this particular stage. Get clear on that. And it's really your job in your business to get more and more experience so that you get more and more clear about what stage you love helping people uh, uh, solve in terms of their, their issues and their challenges and what, what transformational point do you best come into uh, their life okay and once you get clearer and clear about that and that stage of course can grow over time maybe you you end up helping people at different stages and that's okay or maybe you end up realizing that you are narrowing and you really best help people at a particular stage get more and more clear about that and share what you understand to be what you best do at this time so that in your networking and your marketing you are transparent and you're perfectly confident that what you're saying is true and that confidence will come through and people will refer you on as a result one of the great things about knowing what stage you help people with is that you realize in your networking that you will come across other service providers niche mates that help people at an earlier stage than you okay so that you can refer people who are really earlier than what you can do, you refer them to these niche mates, and then they will refer people to you. If you if you clarify it to your niche mates, oh, I really help people at this particular transformational point, and it looks like you help people at an earlier stage, so maybe we can partner and I'll refer people to you, you can refer people to me, so that we can really, we can, we can not waste anybody's time, okay, but we can really do impactful work with people right away as they work with us. 
and then you meet people who help people who are further along than you and you can partner with them as well so that they can refer you business for helping people at this stage and you refer them business for helping people at that stage. So, so I really think don't try to fake it till you make it. What you ought to do instead is to get more experience and get clear about what type of people you best help and what stage you best help them with. So that is a quick primer to honest marketing and authentic networking.